Greetings from the CM Russell Museum. I'm Executive Director Tom Figarelli, and welcome to our latest installment of the 2020 Art in Action Artist Showcase. Given the dynamics of the COVID-19 pandemic, we're unable to host our annual Russell exhibition and sale, and with it, a really fun component called Art in Action. Uh, many of you may know uh, Art in Action. It's a traditional quick draw, quick finish, but with a variation to it. Um, some artists are starting fresh from a blank canvas. Some are bringing in a, a work that they're just adding a little bit to, but the consistent theme through all of it is they're having conversation with guests, with patrons, with collectors. And in that spirit, we're trying to recreate that as much as we can through these artist showcases. We're still having the Russell exhibition and sale. It will occur remotely on September 12th. So be watching our website, cmrussell.org, your email box or social media to find more information on that. And we are hosting Art in Action, but it will just be also in a remote setting. So these showcases are the best way that you can connect with the artists and get a sense of their lives, their creativity, and their spirit. We're joined today by Brooke Wetzel. Brooke, we're excited to have you. Thanks for being here. Oh, I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Well, as people are wondering, you know, given the, the dynamics of this COVID-19 pandemic, how are you doing? How are you enduring these times? You know, I think for the most part, we're doing good. Um, we've had our ups and downs and a few uh, disappointments, um, but I think living in Montana, we don't get to see the full reality of it because we are, you know, we do social distancing um, naturally. And uh, I think that our biggest disappointments have been, um, for me, canceled art shows and you know, for a period closed down galleries. And for my children, um, they're very athletic. And so their sporting events shut down. They were cool school shutting down for a while. And then, you know, when I became Mrs. Wetzel, <laughs> it wasn't so much fun for them. So. Um, then my husband had um, to make a few adjustments with work and stuff, but I think that overall we have, uh, you know, taken the opportunity to, um, you know, find the good in an otherwise negative situation. And so overall we've found the silver lining and we're embracing things for what they are right now. Well, well, good for you. You're, you're hunting the good stuff, and that's the best we can do in these times. So when you uh, became Mrs. Wetzel uh, and were the, the, the home teacher for your kids, I can imagine they had a pretty great art class, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, we got creative with a few things, and we had fun. Um, we did, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the Cupcake War um, challenge on TV. We had Cupcake Wars, which oh, required... Sure cupcake decorating and um that was a fun little artistic challenge i guess and um you know doing different things like uh, painting garden rocks for the garden and um, the kids learned some gardening and so we got to implement things in that they would otherwise not learn in school and that was a great opportunity um but me being their math teacher was um <laughs> It was a challenge. They learned oh. that, uh, you know, I don't have an answer for everything. Gosh, I, I um, can I can sympathize. <laughs> I can sympathize. We're in the same situation with my son. Yeah, it's tough. They do math that, you know, I don't know if I just, my memory is challenged or they've just changed things so drastically that I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think there's a lot of uh, parents that are probably in a similar boat, but uh, well, I guess, you know, you've done quick finishes, quick draws, um, you know, you're very familiar with, with art in action. Um, you know, what, what generally, Brooke, draws you to this type of event where you're producing art, but also having conversations? You know, I would have to say, um, I spend the majority of my time alone in my studio and um you know working on my paintings and i see my paintings and stare at them all day long and you know my husband and my children and a few of my friends i get feedback from but i think that what i love about it most is i get to set up my easel in a room full of people that love western art 
they love the Western landscape and they love the Western lifestyle. And um, I get the feedback from them that um, I don't know how badly I need until, you know, I set up at Art and Act and I get to hear from people and conversate with people. And it's, it's fun because it's not just about art in my process, but about my subject. And, um, you know, if I'm painting a specific river, I get to hear stories about, you know, somebody's time on that river, their experience on that river, and um, people's fishing trips. And it's just, I have built so many friendships that are in action that um, I've stayed in contact with people following. And it's just, it, it, it inspires me when I come home after the event. So you find a rejuvenating quality to it, right? I mean, it's that exchange of ideas, that Western spirit, you just kind of get fueled back up. Is that right? Absolutely. Oh, that's great to hear because that is very much what you know, we intend to have happen throughout the Russell exhibition and sale, but particularly with Art in Action. And, you know, I, I dare to say that many of the viewers out there that have been to Art in Action are probably going to say the same thing, that they find it very kind of culturally and maybe even spiritually refreshing for them to be around people who love the American West and love the, the ideas, the spirit, the heritage, the culture of the West. So um, I, I think that's just well said. Well said. Thank you, Brooke. Uh, you know, I can see a piece over your right hand shoulder, another one over your left. Um, can you share with us what you're working on right now? Yes, this is um, my art in action piece. And um, it's actually from a series that I have been pretty excited about. Um, I, about, well, it was during Western Art Week um, a year and a half ago, I guess it's been. Um, I brought a painting over that um, was quite the conversation piece. And what had happened was that I was working on it and it had a fisherman in it. And it, my husband came in my studio and um, we had a conversation over it. And he, before he left, he said, um, I'll leave you to it and let you paint that guy fishing in there. And after he left, I thought, well, what makes you think it's a guy fishing in there? <laughs> a little presumptuous, <laughs> huh? Yeah, I painted a ponytail on the figure, which uh, it was, I, I did intend for it to be a fisherman in there. But um, I painted a ponytail on and changed the body language a bit and um, it, just to spite him playfully. And sure. um, I told that story uh, bringing it over to Western Art Week, and it was just amazing to me how many women absolutely loved that um, the story there, and that that they loved to fish too. And uh, it dawned on me that I had never even attempted to paint a woman in my paintings. Um, you know, figures are secondary in my work; are primary landscape. Um, but every now and then I'll put a figure in there and um, it's just never been a woman. And so I came home um, blown away at the conversations that I had. And I thought, you know, it's silly that I had never painted a woman in my paintings before. I myself am an outdoors woman. I'm surrounded by them in Montana. Um, and it just, it just opened up this new door for me. And so I started a new series and I titled it Women on the Water. And um, that's what this is all about. I, I have a piece in the auction. I think it's in the first strike auction. And it is from that series. And so I wanted to do something with art and action that gave me the opportunity to talk about it. And so, you know, this is how I get to talk about it. And it's wonderful. Um, but that's, that's what I'm doing right now. And it's been a really exciting series. Well, great for you, Brooke. And I mean, at the end of the day, that's really what we, I think, all celebrate art for, right? Is the fact that art can challenge us and art can break paradigms. And, and you know, I mean, candidly speaking, there's probably, there is a stereotype of the West being more masculine, but that's not accurate. Um, I mean, there's historically been heroines in the West and the West is as defined by women today um, as, as it is by men, if not more so in many respects. And so being able to integrate that within your art and capture subjects that reflect that um, not only breaks, I think, how people look at the West, but it engages them in a really fun and meaningful way. So that's fantastic, Brooke.
Thank you. So, um, you know, just speaking, you kind of hinted at this a little bit, but speak to your creative process a little bit. How do you take an idea and build it from just that, just a notion, just a concept into something that takes life on your canvas? Well, you know, I think the best way to describe that is um, in a couple of days from now, I am backpacking into the mountains on a, a, about a 30 mile trip with um, a few girlfriends of mine. And, um, you know, the, it's always a really hard trip to take because I, I pack 50 pounds on my back and going 30 miles into the wilderness, so many mountains, and um, it's just not easy. And a lot of times I question my sanity while I'm doing it. Um, especially, you know, spending the night in a tent 20 miles deep in the mountains and e I mean, either direction I go, um, it would take an extensive amount of time to get out and, you know, falling asleep to, to a wolf pack howling um, is quite terrifying. You know, I question my sanity, but um, when I wake up in the morning and I get to watch the transition from night to day, you know, before the sun rises over the water. Um, being out there and feeling that is ultimately what I think sparks the creativity, creativity in me and um, inspires me. Um, the idea of being out there and learning the elements and the effects that light has on water and what fog looks like when it's backlit by the sun and um, you know just really studying nature I think that that's that's the beginning of what sparks the creativity in me and it's like um, I think that you know I come home with a desire to try to recreate that on canvas to share, you know, maybe even just a glimpse of what it feels to be out there. Gosh, I, I mean, that, that is just, I think, so Western, <laughs> what you just said. I mean, where else but in Western art are you going to find uh, an artist who is so willing to kind of venture into the unknown and to experience things firsthand? And how else would you best understand light and water than seeing it and, and feeling it and experiencing yourself? So, no, I think that that makes great sense. And people who have been out into the wilderness, the backcountry, they can appreciate that. Absolutely. And what better way to um, like get reference ideas than to go with a bunch of women for my new theory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Absolutely. It's true to, true to the spirit of how you're working it. No, it makes, it makes great sense. Well, Brooke, thank you for all that you do for the Western art community, for Art in Action, and for the CM Russell Museum. It's great to have you on our Artist Showcase. Yes, thank you. It's great to be a part of it. Well, thank you. And thank you all for tuning in to this uh, edition of the Artist Showcase. Uh, art in Action is sponsored by DA Davidson Companies, who also sponsors all of our educational programming at the CM Russell Museum. Uh, through their generosity, we're able to advance the art and soul of the American West. We also want to thank Mr. Tim Cashman. Tim has graciously served as the sponsor for Brooke at Art in Action, and uh, Tim's contributions have as well supported the CM Russell Museum. Uh, so we thank you all for connecting with us today. Thanks again, Brooke. And we look forward to seeing you, though remotely, uh, for the 2020 Russell Exhibition and Sale on September 12th. Thank you.